look, I get it. I know if you want to stay on the good side of gaming companies, especially one as petty and um, grudge holding as Wizards of the Coast, you have to play your cards right basically 100% of the time. I don't blame these folks for choosing the path that they did, but that doesn't mean that I can't roast them for it. What we've achieved today is maximum shill. Shill level 9001. And I want to show you what that looks like. If you remember, on my main channel, um, Unsleeved Media, I talked about an ongoing cardboard issue with new magic cards, specifically the Commander product. People are buying expensive cardboard. The cardboard is bent out of the box. And I even had somebody go through the return process on their product only to get a replacement that was sent to him that was also bent. This is a problem that Wizards of the Coast knows about. This is a problem that Wizards of the Coast doesn't care about. They know that the vast majority of us are going to continue to buy their cardboard regardless of how many problems we have with it. It's got me strongly considering canceling my Patreon level that is that is the biggest supporter of my channel. The biggest supporter I have for my channel are people that back for the booster box and fat pack levels. It would cut my income in half. But I just can't support buying this product right now. But those with a much larger voice than me, four to five times larger, a voice that Wizards of the Coast actually listens to, choose to take a different line, an interesting line of thinking. One that makes me sick. I put out this video a few days ago, and I knew for a fact that the Manasaurus and Talarian Community College would not stand up for this community. It would not risk biting the hand that feeds them. This low quality cardboard bent foils issue is not affecting just a few people. It's affecting thousands of people across the United States. From what it sounds like, it's actually mostly a United States issue, which is good. I guess that it's isolated, but instead what we get is you know, I know a lot of people must have reached out to them to making a cardstock quality issue video. So what we get is one of the most limp-wristed shill level 9,000 comments, laziest responses I've ever seen. Literally a screenshot of a freaking notepad document that says, cardstock quality is an issue. We all know it's an issue. If you open cards that warp naturally or are printed poorly, you notice. You don't need us telling you that because, beside, because the evidence is right in front of you. There is no other side of this issue. Trust me, I'm as frustrated about it as the next passionate MTG player. But making a video about it wouldn't add anything to the conversation. It wouldn't bring new information to light. It wouldn't boost the signal of the issue and, or add pressure to Watsi to approve. This is 100% Grade A BS. You mean to tell me your average views, if you and Tolarian Community College made a video, it's safe to assume that close to 60,000 people would see it. Okay, 60,000. You know how many people watch my video about it? 10,000, maybe. You mean to tell me that a company that flies you around the country, that puts you on panels to speak about their product, that you have direct lines to, won't listen if you make a video. This is an absolute cop-out, and you're both cowards. 
They read watch everything. They know it's an issue. It's been on top of Reddit a million times. The community knows. Watsy knows. All the video to do would do is reiterate what's already been said a bunch of times. It would be farming views and not anything to substance. So this is the mana source who literally reads Reddit posts as their content, who literally opens mythic spoiler and reads off cards and tells you that's original worthwhile content, but says making a video affecting thousands of players about an issue affecting thousands of players is not worth their time. This is the lowest of the low. And people know it. They put out this video. The first reply. To say channel your sides wouldn't boost the signal seems disingenuous. Watsi has shown the louder, the more likely to take action. This is absolutely true. Oh, they definitely know about it. It'll just be another channel making a video saying about it. White noise. Absolute baloney. And then, as usual, lockstep within, I don't know, minutes? You mean to tell me that Wedge didn't run this by Brian? Baloney. Talarian says, pretty much my thoughts as well. Again, not a different person. First reply. Would your voice as well as Wedge add a lot of pressure to Watsy to address? Whatever they're going to do about it, they're already going to do. It's not like they think... Who cares? Then a video for me convinces me. Bull! Bull! A video from their anointed one pointing out a problem and asking for change would have absolutely done something. A, coordin vid a coordinated video from their two largest content creators would have brought a response. This is an absolute cop-out baloney answer. You literally review cardboard sleeves. You mean you won't review cardboard? These are the heroes that Watsi wants. There's a reason that Watsi promotes these channels, people. They know the score. And hey, this is their business. And you know what? It's my business to point out the problems because I don't care only about the money. I don't care only about the Patreon dollars. Here we go. I'm sorry. I disagree. But for the life of me, this is like buying a bag of chips after it's open. Only the first thing. <laughs> Please fix it. Be vocal. Put fair pressure. Constructive criticism. Never hurt anybody. Fair pressure to do what? These are two people that literally can move the earth in Seattle with Wizards of the Coast. And they're out there trying to pretend like they have no power. They're willing to signal boost all the faux outrage about fake problems about women and gaming, but they don't want to talk about real problems affecting us, the players. A consistent, sustained drop in quality and a complete lack of care from the corporation. They don't even issue a statement like, hey, we're, we're aware of it, we're working on it. No, but, but, but two guys who would deliver tens of thousands of views, who would be on the front page of Reddit for days, expect us to believe that Watsi wouldn't listen to them or respond. This is absolute baloney, and these are your heroes, people. They don't give a crap about you. They only care about their access journalism and their Patreon accounts.